If you've seen my flat design classes, you already might have an idea on how the pencil tool works. You already know how it can sometimes be a fantastic replacement for the pen tool. But if you haven't, in the next few videos you'll discover how the pencil tool works, when and why to use it, and you'll also discover the pencil tool sidekicks, the smooth tool, the path eraser tool, and the joint tool. Note though that you won't uh, find all of these tools if you don't have uh, Illustrator at least CC 2014. So let's start with the pencil tool. The pencil tool works pretty much the same way in Illustrator and InDesign. It lets you draw open and close paths as if you were drawing with a pencil on a piece of paper. It is most useful for fast sketching or creating a hand-drawn look. The pencil tool sits right here in the tools panel and has a default shortcut which is the letter N on the keyboard. The way you create paths with the tool is really simple. All you gotta do is to click and start dragging to create a line like this one. As you draw the pencil tool, a dotted line follows the pointer and notice that the path takes on the current stroke and fill attributes and remains selected by default. Now the pencil tool allows you to create paths that have this freehand look, but you can also create straight lines with it. All you have to do is to press and hold on the shift key and notice that uh, this straight line appears next to the tool. If we now just click, drag and let go, we will create a straight line just like with the pen tool and we'll create them in 45 degree increments. We can also attach another path to the one we just created and it can be both straight and freehand. All we have to do is to start drawing from the last anchor point and again if we hold down the shift key we'll create a straight path and if we let go of the shift key we can just create a freehand path just like so. And if you do want to create a straight path with the pencil tool, but you don't want it to be constrained to 45 degree increments, just press the Alt key or the Option if you're on a Mac, just like that. This is the basic way to create paths using the pencil tool. In the next video, we'll take a look at some more ways of using the tool, how we can draw closed paths with it, how we can edit paths we created, how we can connect and reshape them as well. So I'll see you in the next video.